Namaste everyone. Hope everybody is doing well. So let's prepare for our first preparatory posture, Bhujangasana. Lying down on the chest, keeping legs active, toes pointed. Hands next to chest almost where ribs are ending. Inhale and we lift the chest up. Keep squeezing the upper back. Elbow as close as you can. Keeping your hands light and no stress on the shoulder. Checking the knees are off the floor here. And use your lower back strength to lift the chest up. We want to stay here for 5 to 7 breaths. Relaxing for a few seconds. Let's prepare for Shalabhasana. We are bringing hands under thighs. Lift the hips up and shift your hands all the way under. Chin stays on the floor. Toes active, knees straight. Inhale and start to lift the legs up. I'm using my hands pushing on the thighs to lift legs a little more high. Making sure there is no stress on the neck. Continue breathing and with the breath we want to lift the legs up as high as you can. Straight knee. Holding it 5 to 8 breaths. And slowly releasing the posture. Relaxing for a few seconds here. And prepare yourself for Dhanurasana. We are bending the knees here, holding ankles. Shoulders back, inhale and start to lift the chest up. And with next inhalation, lifting knees off the floor. I'm keeping my feet together here. Knees are slightly apart. Ideally, the toes are pointed, but I am keeping the ankles flexed just to make the posture a little more difficult so that I can walk on my spine a little more effectively. Continue breathing and continue lifting up from both the sides. After 5 to 7 breaths, releasing the posture. Right, let's take a child's pose just for 3 to 4 breaths. Straightening the spine gently. And we are preparing for Ushtrasana, camel pose. You can fold the mat if you need to, just to create that extra padding. Keeping knees apart, toes are pointed, ankles on the floor, hands to lower back, tighten the navel, elbow closer. Use your hands to push hips forward, lifting the chest up. And you can choose to stay here if this is too much for you. Only if you are ready, we are sliding both the hands on the foot. Push hips a little more forward. And roll your head back all the way. Continue lifting the chest up. If you can hold Ushtrasana and Dhanurasana easily without putting too much effort, which means you are ready for the Chakrasana posture. So practice these two poses for few weeks before attempting the final Chakrasana posture. Coming out of the posture very carefully, move one hand on the hip, turn chest to one side and slowly come back to center. Shashankasana. Few seconds. Right, I want to show you the arm position and the actual posture. Check my elbows are bent here. The common mistake is to move the elbows out in the final position. 
Walk on moving elbow closer. Your elbow and shoulders are in line. Palms completely on the floor. And keeping this alignment, you want to lift the body up. Straightening the elbow. You should be able to feel the stretch on the upper back. We'll do the same arm movement now in the lying down position. Preparing for Setu Bandhasana first. Check your feet in line with the hips. Hold your ankle. Knees were bent and we are lifting hips off the floor. Bring that chest close to chin. And now focus on tightening thigh muscles and rotate them inwards. Keeping thighs active will give you more strength to lift up the body in final chakrasana position. So make sure you practice that in this position. Exhale and slowly releasing the hips down. We have eyes closed. Taking few deep breaths and imagine the posture mentally. Few seconds here. Now let's prepare for the final position. We have feet in line with the hips. Hands over shoulder, fingertips pointing to shoulder. Checking elbows are not moving out like this. Elbow close to each other. Pressing feet, keeping thighs active. Hips off the floor. Use your hands and lift the head up to bring top of the head on the floor. Adjusting elbows again. You can choose to stay here for a few weeks until you gain some strength on your arms to lift the body up. And once you are ready, when you keep practicing, you will know when you are ready. You lift the head all the way up. Checking the balance is almost equal on feet and hands. Checking no stress on the shoulder and continue breathing. Remember to keep your eyes open. Initially, if your feet are slightly turned out to the side wall, that's absolutely fine. But eventually we want to have big toe and knee in one line, tightening the thigh muscle and holding the position. Once you want to release the posture, drop top of the head on the floor, bringing back of the head, spine on the floor and bring knees on the chest. Hugging the knees tightly and we are staying here a few seconds. I hope you found this helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.